Motor Week 89, Television's Automotive Magazine, with your host, John Davis. Well, hello and welcome again to Motor Week 89. We're glad to have you with us. There was a time in the early 80s, due to the gas crunch, when Cadillac's big, luxurious land yachts were being replaced by downsized models that seemed more like the SS Minnow than the Queen Mary. With the gas situation momentarily stabilized, Americans are once again in the market for big cars. And Cadillac is ready with a new, bigger Fleetwood. And this 1989 Cadillac is big. The Fleetwood sedan measures over 17 feet long, nine inches more than last year. From its distinctive Cadillac grille, to its new rear wheel fender skirts, to its mid-70s style tail, this car is pure caddy. Indeed, Cadillac has continued to smooth out the Fleetwood's lines, returning to a more traditional Cadillac look. Engineering, however, has continued in a steady march forward. A good example is Cadillac's 4.5 liter V8 engine. This transverse mounted aluminum block power plant uses digital fuel injection to crank out 155 horsepower and a healthy 240 pound-feet of torque. That much power feeding through the front wheels would produce ferocious torque steer in many smaller cars. But the 4.5 smooth power delivery and viscous clutch negate any potential front wheel shake as it pulls the car from 0 to 60 in 9.1 seconds. The quarter mile ends in 17 seconds at 80 miles per hour. There is some body pitch under hard acceleration, but the precise flowing shifts of the four-speed automatic transmission smooth out the run. We expected something this big to be a handful in our slalom test, and our caddy did not disappoint us. The Fleetwood plows heavily into a corner and then heels over like a rowboat in a storm. Heavily boosted power steering and a sliding rear end demand a lot of driver input to get through the test course. But then, Cadillac never claimed that the Fleetwood was a sports sedan. When driven in a less frantic manner, the car exhibits more poise and crispness than we normally expect from such an American Luxo boat. The McPherson strut front suspension gives the car a very sure-footed feeling on long, sweeping bends. New front shocks and the rear suspension's automatic level control eliminate the previous generation Fleetwood's tendency to wallow during high-speed driving. Our track test was better suited, in this case, for braking demonstrations. It's never easy to stop 3,598 pounds of car, but the Fleetwood's Tevis anti-lock braking system is up to the task. Despite some smoky odors as the brakes heated up and a lot of nose dive, the front disc rear drum combination consistently stopped our test car in an average distance of 134 feet, a good result. If you choose a 60 Special Ultra Luxury Model Fleetwood like our test car, you'll get one of the nicest interiors that Cadillac has ever delivered. The Ital Design Studio of Milan, Italy created it exclusively for the 60 Special. Our only real complaint about the interior is a long-standing one. The Fleetwood's digital gauge cluster is very sparse. A separate data center handles all fuel information. The fuel information that we gathered, however, was mostly disappointing. Despite an EPA mileage rating of 17 city, 25 highway, our test car never topped 17 on our mixed test loop. But then, traditional Cadillac buyers might think this a big improvement over Fleetwoods of 20 years ago. Today's Fleetwood is also much quieter than a 1969 model with a low 64 decibel interior noise level. Climb through this Fleetwood's wide doors and you climb into comfort. The plush, leather-covered 60 Special seats are well padded and extremely comfortable. There's plenty of support, and three inflatable lumbar pillows allow you to tailor the seat fit. The power seat controls are spread over several locations and look formidable, but all are well marked and easy to reach. It's also one of the most comprehensive adjustment packages available. Standard Cadillac features like an automatic climate control system are naturally present. The control panel is compact and efficient, though its position means that only the driver can easily reach it. The driver will then have to stretch a bit to reach the Delco Bose Gold Series cassette stereo. The effort, however, will be worth it. A touch of the well-laid-out controls and the extended range speakers produce a crisp, rich sound. One of the main benefits of a bigger Cadillac is rear passenger legroom that gains three inches for 1989. Our test car has more usable space in the back seat than most cars have in the front seat. 
Naturally, if you're going to have room for more passengers, you'd better have room for their luggage. The Fleetwood has a real family-sized trunk with 18.4 cubic feet of useful cargo space. So what kind of a dent is all this car going to put in your checkbook? Well, you can get the base Fleetwood sedan for about $26,000. The 60 Special starts at $30,300, with our fully optioned test car totaling $35,676. A lot of money, but it's a lot of car. By comparison to the 60 Special, the even larger Cartier-grade Lincoln Town Car will cost you less. Both cars offer similar interior room, but the Lincoln has more trunk space. The Cadillac, however, is more luxurious and has front-wheel drive. The Mercedes-Benz 300 SE will cost you over $20,000 more than the Fleetwood. It offers better handling and more prestige than the Cadillac but comes in second in interior room, cargo space, and quantity of standard features. On our safety check, the Fleetwood 60 Special passes with anti-lock brakes and rear shoulder belts. Front passive restraints will be standard on 1990 cars. Hits start with the Big Caddy smooth, powerful V8 engine. We also like its fine road manners. The interior deserves praise for its quiet, luxury, comfort, and generous passenger room. And finally, a huge trunk rounds out our list. Misses are mostly long-standing complaints. We still think that Cadillacs need comprehensive gauges and less steering boost. We'd like a bit better fuel mileage as well, even if owners are not likely to mind. But there's little else to complain about. The Cadillac Fleetwood 60 Special is simply one of the best big Luxo boats that we've ever driven. And it proves that, in the case of Cadillacs at least, Bigger really is better.